A lot of people seem to be obsessed with Super Mario Sunshine's past, particularly what the game looked like in its early stages. From the Space World trailer and other clues the developers left behind, it's very apparent that Sunshine used to be a very different game. But there's another piece of Sunshine's past that everybody seems to overlook, and that's what happened after the beta, but before the game is released in North America. Did you know that in 2002, Best Buy held a promotional campaign for the game? They had a sweepstakes called the Mario Beach Party Sweepstakes, and the grand prize was an actual beach party, like they'd fly you out and shower you in the glory of winning. Along with the sweepstakes came a promotional preview CD for Super Mario Sunshine with some pretty neat stuff on it, and to be honest, it looks thrown together and pretty bad. I mean, just look at it. But there's a lot of evidence that this promotional CD actually is genuine, despite how not genuine it looks. Before we get into the content actually on the disc, we're going to go over that real quick. So first of all, this CD does not run properly on any Windows operating system past Windows 2000. Period. I actually had to install Windows 2000 on a virtual machine to run it. The software on the disc seems to be obsolete, and seeing as the campaign took place in 2002, the software not working well on anything newer makes sense. But there's some more solid evidence as well. In September 2002, on an online sweepstakes forum, a few users made threads about the Mario Beach Party sweepstakes. Though nobody came forth about winning the grand beach party prize, users Snookers, Diaworld, and Stingray53 all created threads to announce that they had won a third place prize, a Mario Beach Party t-shirt. According to Snookers, a total of 2,500 people won that shirt, and unfortunately, the elusive winner of the grand prize, the beach party itself, still remains at large. It also looks like the sweepstakes had its own website too, MarioBeachParty.com. Using the Wayback Machine, we can see that the home page of this website looked like this while the sweepstakes was going on in 2002. It definitely looks like it's promoting a sweepstakes, and the horrible picture of Mario with the photoshopped on sunglasses on the site is the same as the Mario on the disc, and the prizes page is available too. It verifies that 2,500 people won a promotional shirt, and it also says that 500 people won a $10 Best Buy gift card. Best of all, it goes into detail about what the grand prize is, a beach party tour for up to four people touring five beaches, complete with tour guides and everything, and $500 in cash. But the site has long since been shut down, so long that the domain name is available, so if you want to purchase a piece of Super Mario Sunshine history for like 12 bucks, it's up for grabs. But there's more! Using the Wayback Machine again, we can also find that there is a page promoting Super Mario Sunshine and the Mario Beach Party sweepstakes on the official Best Buy website. Not only that, but it also promotes the Best Buy credit card, which is a lot less exciting. So let's move on to the content on the disc. So first off, there are 18 screenshots of the game that showed people what they would be in for if they bought it. Because this is a promotional CD, these are preview screenshots, not necessarily beta screenshots. So the first four screenshots are of Delfino Plaza. The most obvious difference right off the bat is the health meter, which displays our health as a number, which the health meter in the final game does not do. But the plaza itself looks almost identical to the one in the finished game. The most notable difference is in the fourth screenshot, where the shine gate in the background looks unfinished, dull, and honestly kind of gross. The fifth screenshot appears to be in Bianco Hills, probably roughly here in the level, but the platform the shine sprite is on didn't make it to the final game. The next three screenshots are of the airstrip in the plaza, which all look relatively normal. One thing worth noting is that there is no indicator next to Yoshi's egg saying what fruit he wants, so maybe at one point he wasn't picky. The next two screenshots are also interesting. Yoshi is green in these pictures, and green Yoshi does not appear in the final game. Only orange, purple, and pink Yoshi do, depending on the last fruit he ate. The next two screenshots are of Bianco Hills. The first one shows off a short windmill that didn't make it into the final revision, and the next one shows off Bianco Hills beyond the white wall. The model and textures look unfinished, but the level design is the one we're familiar with. Screenshot number 13 shows off the goop-covered PD balls, which apparently used to look a lot grosser and may have originally not been covered in goop. It kind of looks like it's rotting in this picture. The next four screenshots show off Rico Harbor, and this Rico Harbor looks a lot like the one that made it into the final game but the textures, especially the goop in the water, look unfinished and dull. And the last screenshot shows off a cool little boat next to the airstrip. This boat is in the final revision of the game, so that's pretty cool. So even though they're not proven to be beta screenshots, some of them look like they might be, and the game was definitely changed at least a little bit between the time the pictures were taken and the game's final release. So these screenshots are probably the most interesting part of the disc, but there's more stuff too. Then the CD also has two songs for us to listen to. 
the Delfino Plaza theme, and the theme song. These should both sound familiar, so we won't listen all the way through both songs, but we'll listen to a little bit. Next up, the CD has a video trailer for the game, showing off actual video clips of gameplay. The whole thing sounds like a commercial too, fitting in with the promotional campaign theme. On a tropical island, far from the Mushroom Kingdom, among a people enchanted by sunshine, Mario has taken a break from the hopping, the bopping, and saving the princess to take a well-deserved vacation. Or so he thinks. But this fall, something is amok in paradise. Throw fireballs at him, laugh at his mustache. But do not mess with his vacation. So like the screenshots, the video shows a very different game. Well, maybe not very different, but it's apparent that the game went through a lot of changes right before it was released. Anyway, let's move on. Then lastly, the CD provides two links that people could follow for more information. One links to the official Nintendo website, which contains information about the game and sweepstakes that is consistent with the rest of the promotional campaign, and the other links to the official Best Buy website, which we saw earlier. But as for the content on this disc, that's all there is, so I guess the only thing we have left to do is exit the program. Thank you all for watching! This is an interesting piece of Sunshine's history that almost never gets noticed or sees the time of day, and I'm honored to have been able to present it to many of you guys for the first time. It's strange that of all things a promotional campaign is something most of us didn't know about. I guess it wasn't a very successful campaign. But it's still interesting, and it's an important piece of Super Mario Sunshine's history. Until next time, though, this is Red Fuzzy Dice. Thank you again for tuning in.